Hi everyone, in this video we do, we're looking at panel data analysis. So, panel data basically contain observation about different cross-session across time. Uh, it, it is simply the combination of cross-sessional data and time series data. Okay, before we go to the, the analysis in Helios, okay, I would like to show you uh, the panel, uh, how you uh, structure your data in panel form. Okay, so here we have like uh, this column. You see, we have company, you have cross ID, you have year, and then you have the variables. This company, th these are the cross sessions. Okay, the cross session, it could be countries. Okay, if you're doing panel data analysis for let's say West Africa, you have Nigeria, Ghana, blah blah like that. Okay, this is what you have here. So, in this case, uh, we are doing panel data analysis for like 10 companies. You see, company one, two, three, four, five, six to ten. Okay, so these are cross sessions. It could be country, it could be it could be any cross sessional data you intend doing, and these are the cross ID. These are unique ID attached to each of the cross sessions. Okay, I uh, see one is attached to company one and uh, two to company two, three to company three, like that, like that. So that is that, and then you have the you have the year. Okay, uh, this date basically from nineteen ninety five to two thousand and fourteen. Yeah. For each of the cross sessions, yeah, okay, that's the year, and then you have the variables, the variables. Okay, so as it is like this, it is ready to be exported to eViews. So let's take let's let's take the data to eViews. Come to your eViews. Uh, come here to file, import, import from file. Okay, I have it uh, saved in the document library, so. Uh, we're about ready. Uh, scroll down. Just a few more minutes. Okay, it's a data panel. Okay, you double click on it and then uh, you have it. Imported to the exported to the um, uh, Excel file. You click on next, next, and finish. Nope. Now you have the data in the V file ready for uh, analysis. Okay, analysis. So at the end of this video, we should be able to uh, estimate full OLS that is parallel ordinary square the fixed effect uh, model and random effect model and of course we should know how to conduct osman test okay uh so we start with poor ls poor ls is just like ordinary less square just the normal ols okay it neglects the panel structure of uh, of the of the data okay it's neglected in individual heterogeneity uh, in the model it assumes that all our uh, cross sessions okay in the model it assumes they possess the same characteristics okay they don't have they, are, they, they have unique attributes together okay so how do we estimate our uh, OLS come to your quick uh, quick estimate equation okay if you are taking invest as a dependent variable invest okay the constant let's say fixed capital it's part of a independent variable let's say we have shares as a one of our independent variable you click on okay and then you have your panel list for your pool regression result okay uh, you would say that uh, all this they are statistically significant and it shows that uh, well uh, the effect of uh, fixed capital on investment is positive shares is positive and it shows that the constant uh, it shows uh, the level of investment we have at a uh, zero level of fixed capital in shares this is minus uh, 32 okay this is panel OLS okay but one of the shortcomings of this uh, estimation technique is that uh, it neglects the panel structure okay individual heterogeneity in the model okay and that is why we move to fixed effect model now for fixed effect model it account for individual heterogeneity in the model but only in the intercept okay so the inter individual heterogeneity okay unique attribute of each of these cross session uh are wholly accounted for in the intercept of the uh, intercept of the model uh, how do we 
uh, estimate fixed effect model let's come back to our sorry let's come back to our estimate okay now you will see we have panel options please click on the panel options and there you see cross sessions come in and click on fixed okay we are ready click on okay now you have a result for fixed effect model okay okay oh you realize that the, the result that they're statistically significant okay uh this shows shares positively affect investment face capital positively affect investment and uh this measures the level of our uh, investment at zero level of our uh, capital and shares this is fixed effect model okay i told you that okay i although this um this uh model it account for the individual heterogeneity in the model but only in the intercept okay and now let's go to random how do we estimate random effects model okay come to estimate come to panel option like we did for fixed model you yeah, come to cross section and then on random model click on okay voila we have a random effect model result okay one thing about the random effect model is that it account for individual heterogeneity in both the slots and the uh and the, and the uh, um uh, intercept okay it controls for the individual heterogeneity individual uniqueness of each of the cross section in both the slope and the intercept that is a random uh effect model now how do you know which of this model is appropriate for this analysis okay you have fixed effect model we have random effect model okay there is something we call osman test osman test allows to select which model is more efficient out of a given out of our two models okay out of two or more models okay so how do we conduct osman's test come to view ah uh, you see fixed random effect testing okay and then correlated random effect you see osman just click on and then we have our osman testing and the all null hypothesis for this osman testing is that the random effect model is more efficient that's the null hypothesis the, if you judge by the chi square statistics and the probability value we have to accept the null hypothesis that in fact random effect model is more efficient than fixed effect model so we should go for random effect model in our uh, analysis i must tell you that to perform this osman test you must perform the osman test on the random effect model if you don't the fixed effect model you might not get your result okay let's try that out let's come back to estimate uh come to option and let's click on fix you see this is a fixed effect model let's try to conduct osman test correlated mm -hmm. you see do not get your result so you should conduct your Osman test on your random effects model. Okay. So let's go back to a random effect model and conduct Osman test again. Okay. And then we can now successfully conduct our Osman test. Okay. So we have our Osman test. Okay. Uh so that is that. On this you can come and conduct your other residual test, like uh uh normality test, okay? In the multi test, this practically shows that this this uh, the variables are not normally distributed. Okay, see the probability value. Normally, the null hypothesis is that the variables are normally distributed, but here we have to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, uh, let's look at our cross sectional or uh, let's see the okay cross sectional dependency test. Okay, uh, what is cross sectional dependency test actually? Is it uh, th this test has to do with the impact of shocks in one country on another country when both country belongs in the same panel data set so it's trying to tell us whether the the uh, shocks in one country spread over spill over to the other country when we have them in the same panel data set okay the null hypothesis is that uh, no cross-sectional dependency in residuals okay but judging by this uh cro cross-sectional dependency test estimation which pagan uh pressure and td we are to reject the null hypothesis. This shows that there is a cross-sectional dependency, yeah, in the in the model. So, uh, no, uh, a brief recap of uh, this is that uh, for pool OLS, pool OLS is just like the normal OLS. Okay, it neglects the panel structure of the of the model. It fails to account for individual heterogeneity in the model. But for fixed uh, effect model, it does account for individual heterogeneity in the model, but only in the intercept. But for random effect model, it accounts for individual heterogeneity in the panel 
uh, in the panel um, model in both slope and the intercept. Okay, then how do you choose between fixed effect model and random effect model? You conduct what we call Osman test. Okay, Osman test will help you to choose which of the model is more efficient and appropriate for the for the analysis thank you thank you so much for uh, for watching plus if this is your first time on this channel do not forget to click on the subscribe button if you have every comment if you have any comments in this place feel free to uh, drop in the comment box thank you and have a wonderful day